Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Pecora here. We are still reading Mercy Watson to the Rescue. And in chapters one to five, we learned that Mercy crawled in bed with Mr. and Mrs. Watson. And because pigs are a little heavy, it caused the bed to go through the floor. And she hopped off the bed. Mr. and Mrs. Watson think she's going for help, but Mercy's really going for food. So she went to the Lincoln sisters and Eugenia Lincoln called the fire department. So let's see what happened in the rest of Mercy Watson to the Rescue by Kate DiCamillo. Chapter six. What is going on in here? Asked Eugenia. There's a monster outside, said Baby. She pointed at the window. That is not a monster, said Eugenia. That is the pig from next door. Mercy, said Baby. Eugenia shook her fist. In my opinion, said Eugenia, pigs belong on farms. Yes, sister, said Baby. Eugenia tapped a knuckle against the window. Get out of my yard, she shouted at Mercy. Oh, sister, said Baby, don't yell at her. You hurt her feelings. She doesn't have feelings, shouted Eugenia. She's a pig. Oh, said Baby, I'm sure you're wrong, dear. I am not wrong, Eugenia shouted. I am never wrong. I know a pig when I see one. Eugenia scowled. She pressed her nose against the window pane. Mercy stared at Eugenia. Eugenia stared at Mercy. Pig, shouted Eugenia. She turned and ran out of Baby's room. Oh dear, said Baby Lincoln. Oh my. Chapter seven. Eugenia ran toward Mercy. Mercy's heart beat faster. There was going to be a chase. Mercy loved a chase. She let Eugenia get very close to her. Oink, said Mercy, Mercy dashing away. Get out of my yard, shouted Eugenia. Oink, oink, said Mercy. She ran in circles. She kicked up her heels. No pigs allowed, Eugenia shouted. Oh, sister, said Baby. Please be careful. A siren wailed. A fire truck pulled into the Lincoln sisters' driveway. Ned and Lorenzo got out of the truck. Do you think that's the emergency? Ned asked. Could be, said Lorenzo. Ned and Lorenzo sighed. You never know with just job, said Lorenzo. You're right, said Ned. You never know. Chapter 8. Ma'am, Lorenzo said to Baby, did you call the fire department? Oh dear, said Baby, I did not. But Eugenia may have called. Who is Eugenia? asked Ned. My sister, said Baby. Is that her? asked Lorenzo, the one chasing the pig. Yes, said Baby, that's her. Baby and Ned and Lorenzo watched Eugenia chasing Mercy through the yard. Lorenzo cleared his throat. What's the emergency exactly? asked Ned. I thought I saw a monster at my bedroom window, said Baby, but it was not a monster. It was Mercy. Mercy, said Lorenzo. The pig, said Baby. The pig who lives next door. I see, said Ned. Eugenia does not care for Mercy, said Baby. In her opinion, pigs belong on farms. There's something to be said for that opinion, said Lorenzo. Ned nodded. Help, shouted a faraway voice. Help, help, help us. Did you hear that? asked Ned. Somebody's in trouble, said Lorenzo. Let's go. Chapter 9. Ned and Lorenzo ran towards the call for help. They went into the Watson's house. Help! Ned and Lorenzo looked up. They saw a bed hanging out of the ceiling. They saw Mr. and Mrs. Watson holding on to the bed for dear life. We're saved, cried Mrs. Watson. Of course we are saved, said Mr. Watson. Mercy has alerted the fire department. She's amazing, 
said Mrs. Watson. She's unbelievable. She is a porcine wonder, said Mr. Watson. Ned and Lorenzo ran upstairs. They picked up Mr. Watson and Mrs. Watson. The Watson's bed sighed loudly and crashed all the way to the floor. Boom! Mr. Watson looked at the hole where the bed used to be. I have always believed very firmly in the fire department, said Mr. Watson. As have I, said Mrs. Watson. As have I. From outside the Watson's house came a squeal. Gotcha! shouted Eugenia. Chapter 10. Ned, Lorenzo, and Mr. and Mrs. Watson all went outside. Eugenia was sitting on the ground. Her arms were wrapped around Mercy's neck. Her cheek was resting on Mercy's back. Eugenia was breathing very loudly. This pig, she said, was on my property. We prefer that you did not call her a pig, said Mrs. Watson. We would prefer that you call her a poor seen wonder, said Mr. Watson. After all, she did save us. She's a hero. She's a pig, said Eugenia. She started to cry. There, there, sister, said Baby. She bent over and pat, patted Eugenia on the back. Oh, sorry, boys and girls, that's sticking there. Hmm. Sorry about that. Mercy yawned. She was very tired. I guess that's it, said Ned. Yep, said Lorenzo. Our work here is done. Wait, said Mrs. Watson. It's almost time for breakfast. Oink, asked Mercy. That's right, breakfast, said Mrs. Watson. She kissed the top of Mercy's head. She looked at the fireman. Do you boys like toast? Chapter 11. In the Watson's house, around the Watson's kitchen table, sat Eugenia Lincoln and Baby Lincoln and Mr. Watson and Mrs. Watson and Ned and Lorenzo. And Mercy, of course. She was at the head of the table in the seat of honor. And in front of her, on her favorite blue plate, was a very tall stack of hot buttered toast. A toast to Mercy, said Mr. Watson, holding up his glass of orange juice. A toast to our darling, our dear, said Mrs. Watson. A toast to Mercy, said Baby. In my opinion, said Eugenia, pigs should not be toasted. In my opinion, pigs do not belong at the kitchen table. To our hero, said Mr. Watson, where would we be without mercy? Yes, said Mrs. Watson, who would have saved us? I can't imagine, said Ned. Me neither, said Lorenzo. They all clinked glasses. Mercy had another piece of toast. Chapter 12. Outside the Watson's house, the sun was rising. First the sun was red, and then it was orange. It rose higher and higher. Inside the Watson's house, Mercy was lying on the couch. She was getting ready to take a nap. Bright, bright is the morning sun, sang Mr. and Mrs. Watson together. But brighter still is our porcine wonder. Mercy smiled. She closed her eyes. She was asleep before Mr. and Mrs. Watson even finished the song. The end. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the story, Mercy Watson to the Rescue. And stay tuned for the next story featuring our favorite pig, Mercy Watson. Bye-bye.